Hi, Tom Trento, Director of the United West, here with some wonderful news for everyone who's been following our work, but more importantly, the work of Jerusalem Jane in Israel, in Jerusalem, on the Temple Mount. She's, she's been awarded a phenomenal certificate and recognition for her work on the Temple Mount by none other than Yehuda Glick. Jerusalem Jane, congratulations and welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. What is this award about, and, and how did you feel when you found out you were given an award? Well, tell us what it's about. Yeah. Well, I have actually known about this for three weeks, and I was not allowed to tell anyone. But actually, uh, what happened was, it was a year ago that Yehuda Glick was shot. He was trying to be assassinated, and he wanted to celebrate with all the people and friends who were standing with him and his family through that very hard time. So it was a celebration uh, at the Menachem Begging Center where he was shot last year. And uh, on that particular evening, they wanted to call or to give a certificate for people who has done something to improve the Jewish people's right to pray on the Temple Mount. So he actually contacted me and he first of all he invited me to the event and then he said, do you see we have an award ceremony and we actually would like to give it to you. We want to honor you for being so bold and for standing with us as a non-Jew. Would you like to accept? <laughs> so I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, I would like to accept. It's a huge thing. It, it really moves me deeply, deeply. For those of you who may not know Jerusalem Jane, she is a Christian, Christian woman from Denmark. Several years ago, she left Denmark and God called her to go to Israel to pray for the country of Israel and to pray as a Christian for Jewish people. And in particular, God led her up to the Temple Mount where she has gone scores of times, hundreds of times, but uh, recently has been the, uh, the target of some very vicious uh, threats, death threats, and all of that. But this comes with the, with the territory, and uh, she received this award um, just a couple of days ago. Why don't you introduce the award ceremony, and then after that we'll come back and um, uh, I got a couple of uh, thoughts I want to share with you. Yeah, um, there were several people who got the awards before me, and uh, then it was my turn, and Yoda said, now we are going to give this to the only non-Jewish people, uh, to the only non-Jewish person who's going to have this award. And that is Jane Keel for her extraordinary um, effort, if you want to put it like that. And then you see what's happening. All right, let's check out the video right now. Yehuda Glick, the civil rights advocate on the Temple Mount, um, awarding the Certificate of Callers of Zion. To, uh, to Jerusalem, Jane. The final certificate goes this year to a representative of the non-Jewish world who is promoting the connection between the people of Israel and the Temple Mount. And I want to invite another person to give her the, the, the reward. I would like to invite my dear friend, a Druze, Mandy Safdi.
for the courage, time after time, to go up to Temple Mount, while Muslims scream and harass, and for speaking the truth to the world about the Temple Mount. We pray that God bless you and give you more strength to continue your holy work. And all of us together will visit the Holy Temple of Jerusalem, the eternal house of God. Thank you very much. Jane, we are so proud of you. That was fantastic. Um, Thank how did you. you feel getting the award? I'm deeply moved. Can I just read two lines to you what it says? Look. Oh, cool. <laughs> Look at that. Go ahead. Certificate of Callers of Zion. Uh, yeah, I just want to read the first few lines. Sure. Jane Keel awarded for your work to bring the issue of nation back to Zion for your work as an independent blogger from Denmark to Jerusalem. The city is so close to your heart and soul for coming to us to be our ambassador to the Temple Mount. It just, it, it, it moved me to tears, Tom, because this is what I'm trying to do, to stand with them, to love them, to speak with them, and for them to recognize that, for them to say, you are coming to us to be our ambassador. It doesn't really get any bigger than that. So I am so humble. And I am, can I say, I'm a little bit proud, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm really, really grateful. Uh, uh, you, you, should be, uh, uh, you should be proud in the right sense of the word that you're doing what God wants you to do. It's simply amazing. And yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, Jane is a phenomenally brave woman. Uh, we have been with her in Israel. Not only does she have a ministry of prayer and support and counsel, counsel, she has helped uh, Israelis there who have lost family members and spent time with them. But she serves as our correspondent for the United West, reporting back from the center of the action in Jerusalem, thus the name Jerusalem Jane. So please, the, uh, the members of, many members of the country of Israel have recognized the importance of her work. We ask everyone out there right now to recognize the importance, and we gotta keep her there. She lives on donations, you can go to her her website or her Facebook, Israel One Nation, and you can donate online. Please do that generously. We've got to make sure she stays there and, and give her the prayer support necessary. Jane, take uh, 20 seconds and say goodbye for us, and uh, we'll see you uh, in just a few days. We'll be back uh, on the air with you. Sounds good. I, I'm just sending love and kisses from Israel. As you probably know, we are in the wave of a horrible, horrible uh, terror attacks that is happening here. Jews are being slaughtered just out of here on the streets in Jerusalem. So please, please keep the Jewish nation in your prayers. Please keep the Jewish people in your prayers. Uh, stand up for them and speak up for them because they are really, really in a time like this looking for their friends. Hi, right, Jane. Take care. Stay safe and God bless yeah. your amazing work. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, hey, no,